This is Fei. Some of you may already know me, but for those who don't, I joined MSC on January 31st, 2020, about four months ago. I wanted to make this video for all the new traders and new MSC members and share with you guys how I began my trading journey with MSC and become a consistently profitable trader. I started with zero trading experience. As Bao said, that was actually my advantage in terms of trading because it means I have no bad habits. That's also saying if you had a trading experience but can't find a consistency, maybe it's time to unlearn the bad habits and start from zero. In this video, I'm going to show you guys my learning process step by step. But keep in mind, everyone learns and trades differently. The process and the methods I'm sharing has worked for me, but that does not mean you have to follow it exactly. As you learn more, you will figure out that what works best for you. I know starting off as a new trader can be overwhelming because I was in that same position not too long ago. When I started, I felt the same way with what most of new traders feel. Anxious, stressed, hopeful, but scared. Most importantly, I don't know what I don't know. Here are some key steps I took. First one is being emotionally prepared. Understand this is my own journey. No one can do this for me. I need to be dedicated and put in the work and effort. Trust and have confidence in myself. I know I'm capable. I just don't have the knowledge and experience yet. That's why I need to work on them. Also be aware that I'm inexperienced. That says I will obey the rules that were created by the experienced and profitable trader. Be a copycat first. Copy their style, their process, their strategy, and their rules. It's a good time to be strict to yourself. At the beginning, it's not about making money. It's about learning and building process. Use rules and make those rules become your good habits. Set yourself appropriate expectation and goals. Like Bao said, if you can constantly, consistently make a hundred dollar a day, how can you make a thousand dollar a day consistently? One question I asked myself was what was my financial situation? How much can I afford to lose? That depends on your financial situation and maybe it's a time to set a daily maximum loss with yourself and with the broker. The second step is the most important one, become educated. You need to study, study, and study more. It's like before doing a job interview or important exam, you need to prepare for it. Watch the videos before you start. Here's the order I use to study. One first step is to read the starter pack. Um, this is a PDF you can download from MSC websites. It includes all the termina terminology that are used in trading. Second one is Joe Kelly's basic videos. Um, I watched most of them and uh, I highly recommend the accelerator course. As a lifetime member, I had early access to that 7 hour and 40 minutes long video. It includes everything you need to learn about trading from zero. Joe literally started that video with what is stock. Uh, the next one I watched is Trading Fish Academy. It has more practical live trading videos you can learn from Bao's experience. Don't forget to take notes while watching videos. It's time for you to transit from I don't know what I don't know to what I know what I don't know. Don't forget to watch those video over and over again. Nobody can get everything f during the first time watching those videos. Review your notes, find out what strategy fits your best, and find out what's your blind spot. A good indicator that I use is can I clearly explain this to someone who has no knowledge about stock trading? If I can, that means I get that point. Here are some criteria I used for myself to find out what I wanted to focus and spend my most time practicing. Can I do this every day with my schedule? Do I feel comfortable repeatedly doing this every day? Does the strategy give me the best winning rate when I paper trade or trade with tiny size? After I Asking those questions, I found that low hanging fruit has the best winning rate and I feel the most comfortable with. Now it's time to practice. Uh, what to practice? Drawing lines. That's the most important one. 
and practice the strategies you learn from the videos. Also, you need to learn how to use the trading platforms to properly place order. Also, practice your entry and exit. You don't even need to place a real trade for it. Just write down the numbers and compare with the charts and see if they work well. Also, learn how to use hard stop. Risk management is one of the most important things MIC teaches. Build a good habit of using hard stop as you start. How to practice? Review posts in the MIC main trading channel. Understand what and how the experts trade. Bao spends about the entire day in that main trading channel to educate us. We should take advantage of his experience. Um, and uh, paper trade and the tiny size trade as the beginning. Also use uh, similar to do some back testing. To be clear, I did not trade. I did not start with paper trade because I know my mindset would be different when I use real money and uh, use paper trade. Also use daily watch list, draw lines from every single ticker, including the ones you didn't even trade. Compare your lines with the lines that mods post and to the daily chart to see if your plans were good. Here are some questions I ask myself daily when I started. Did I follow my rules? Did I follow the process MIC teaches? Was I patient enough? Did I have FOMO? Did I stop out when I was wrong? Was I too greedy and not take the profits? I built a spreadsheet with these questions so I can check if I did well every day. You can do the same and with your own rules. Some other must do is utilize MIC video library search bar. You can search all the keywords you want to learn from the video library. Google is also your best friend. Don't forget to find yourself a tab. I wouldn't be where I am today if it weren't my tabs. I get a lot of help and I learn a lot of things from them every day. Don't forget to attend MIC webinars and attend weekend monitoring and take notes of the answers mods post. Here are some questions I got often from MIC members. Um, how did I set up? I started with 50 to 100 shares for about a week. Then I moved to 500 shares, then add 500 shares after a week of consistently profitable. Other than being profitable, I care about if I traded stress-free. If the size made me feel uncomfortable, I would stay in the at the same size. And uh, after a few months, I'm still using maximum 3,000 shares to trade because that's where I find the most comfortable with. Uh, what was your account size when you started? I started with uh, $30,000 in my account, but I traded like I was under PDT. I was very cautious in terms of place any trade. What videos did you watch? So I put together a study plan and I put I pinned that in After Hour channel. If you go to After Hour channel and see this little pin icon, uh, I think my study plan is the fifth or fourth. When should I quit my job? As Bao said, if you can consistently make profits and uh, savings for two year worth of salary, you can consider quitting your job. But me personally, I don't plan to quit my day job. I like the idea of having steady income and also, I love my job and my coworker. Last but not least, don't quit. That's from my tab group. Work hard, you will be rewarded. Thank you, guys.